Hello guys and welcome to another edition of Rage Against the Dice. I'm not one for usually getting into internet drama and such, um, as you guys would know, or don't know. They're the main two, you either do or don't know. But something's come up today that, um, at least to a certain extent, affects me. Um, not in terms of it's about me, or not in terms it's about a product I even play anymore. But it is about a company that I'm very, very fond of, and another company which I am not fond of. So I am going to prefix this by letting you know that I do have at least somewhat of a bias in the fact that I'm not a big fan of Night Models. And I'm not a big fan of Night Models due to two licensing issues that they've had. The first being with Star Wars, and the second being with Marvel. Um and the way they handled both. Um, of course, as well as any negotiations or any conversations I've had with Night Models with regards to getting replacement parts for models as well. So as I said, I am coming at this from at least somewhat of an angle, um, and I, I need to sort of set that out at the offset. Um, so this involves Red Beam Designs, which is a company you guys know I'm very, very fond of. Um, I sing their praises quite a lot. Um, I will just apologise. I know I said I'd put the software on my computer so I didn't have to film it with my phone. And on the plus side, I did. The bad news is that my microphone is now bust. Um, so I only have the special mics that I use with my phone. I will replace the microphone over the Christmas period and then we'll get things set up properly, especially as this looks like it's going to be more of a common thing. Not me bagging on night models, but just these type of videos um, where I'm going to be looking at news articles and reading out some pretty cool stuff. So um, let's get straight into it. As I said, this is about Red Beam Designs. Now, Red Beam Designs, they make a lot of MDF products. They make acrylic tokens and things like that for varying games. One thing I want to quickly show is when you go to game specific, which is this big list here, which you might not be able to see, but if you can't, it's here. You'll notice that all the game, all the logos say suitable for. So these are suitable for Age of Sigma. These are suitable for Batman. These are suitable for Blood Bowl, etc., etc. You can read, so I won't insult your intelligence. Or if you haven't ever been to Red Beam Design sites. It is in the description below. Check their website out. So they made a product for a Batman miniature game. And I will also state this, that I do think they made a mistake by naming it BMG Character Board. And they do a 16mm dice and a 12mm dice at £2.70 for one. And they're really, really cool. I haven't got any, but that's purely because I don't, at this point in time, play the Batman miniature game anymore. Um... Due to some of the reasons I was saying earlier with regards to night models and my issues I have with their communication. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to let you guys have a look at this and then I'm going to read out what it says. So, as I said, I don't think this should say Batman Miniature Game or BMG Character Board. I would, If it was my website and I was doing it, I would call it, I think, and they used to, I'm pretty sure Red Beam Design... Or it might be a different site. It could be counter-attack bases. But I would call it like a superhero skirmish game or that kind of thing. Um, but I'm going to read you the description because it's very, very clear. Description. Designed to be compatible with the Batman miniature game 2nd edition. This character board allows you to track your actions using 16mm dice for a single model designed to work with cards. That are in card sleeves made from... And the product is made from 3mm MDF. <coughs> and then it gives you a little bit of a warning about card signs, and then it says this here, which I think is very important. Please note, this product is supplied as, unpaint as an unpainted kit and requires assembly. No instructions are provided as they're extremely simple to assemble, and if it's anything like the Walking Dead one, that's correct. You just stick one side to the other, and if you want to know more about them, I have a review. I'll pop that in the link below as well, because even though I'm you know, making it what I consider to be a valid point. Still going to get those likes. <laughs> Sorry. Um, then it says, please ensure you have any required tools or glues that you're needed for this. We recommend top quality, blah, blah, blah. But that's not important. I just like to read. Um, you know, I've learned to do it now, so I like to. And then this bit is very important. This is not an official Night Models product and is in no way associated with them. All trademarks and copyrights are property of their respective owners. So that's very, very important because 
although Night Models do have the license to make the Batman miniature game and the DC miniature game, Batman, Superman, etc., etc., and the DC properties are all properties of DC and Warner Brothers. And that's something Night Models will mention when we go on to it. So, this brings us... I think I first saw these around about two months ago. Maybe they've been up there longer. And if you guys are big fans of Red Bean... Um, just let me know in the comments below if it's been more than two months. As I said, I'm not a big fan of the Batman miniature game anymore. Um, second edition was interesting me a little, and that's something we will discuss um, in a bit. But I think it was around about two months ago I saw them, uh, maybe a bit longer. Maybe the start of the summer it could have been, um, but definitely within the last two months I've seen them. So this brings us to, to my knowledge, today. And today, um, Night Models, as they always do when they release new products, um, overcharge, no. <laughs> Again, that was wrong of me. Although right, if I'm honest. Um, Night Models put up their, this is the next set of releases. Their previews, they preview the cards and things like that. And to be fair to Night Models, I think that is one of the best things they do. They allow you to have a look at the cards. You can look at the models in detail. It's really, really cool. It's one of the few things they do well. Certainly, customer service isn't. Um, and they released this product, which, again, is a very beautiful product. You'll notice you can put a card there. You can put the dice in the bottom. It's got this little section here and a little section at the top. But wait... That was a Batman reference from the... Never mind. Boom! That looks very, very similar to this. Now you can claim, yes, this little curvy bit here is on this side. This little curvy bit is on this side. So they're two different products. And just to make sure that you're fully aware as well, this has a little backward L shape. A J, if you will. So we're going to call that for the remainder of this video, the J. So this has the J. This just has a box. So two different products, clearly. Um, this one does come two in a set, which is cool. And you also get the game markers. So this is really cool. You get a couple of game markers in it. And it's got a little night model symbol there. So you know that it's theirs. They've clearly come up with this design original from their brain. Obviously not. Um, as I said, this has been there at least two months, maybe longer. This has just popped up. Now, you could say theoretically, well, maybe Night Models when they came up with second edition because the cards are laid out differently and they don't have the little boxes that the old cards used to have. You could say, for argument's sake, that maybe they just had a similar idea of design. Well, yes, they could have done and I will... I will certainly hold my hands up and say that is a possibility. <coughs> Sorry. But once again, I want you to take a look at the two. I could put them side by side, but I'm proper lazy these days when it comes to computing. Um, which is exactly what you want to hear from the guy who's doing a review of a product almost. So look at that. Now, like I said... You could say that maybe they just came up with a very, very, very similar design. Um, and maybe if they'd put these things on the other side, or they'd had them above, um, or something like that. Because the dice have to really be there, so they line up with the cards. You see, that lines up with that, that lines up with that, etc., etc. And then the same, boom, here's a picture of the cards they saw, that lines up and that lines up and that lines up and that lines up. So you see, they kind of have to be here. But these bits, they could have been anywhere. They could have been, you know, maybe one of this at this side and one of that at that side. Or they could have been up the top. But no, they weirdly chose to put them in the exact same place. Without the J, I'll accept, you know, no J. So I think these look a bit bigger, actually, as well. Um... And I could be wrong. It happens um, more often than I would like to admit. But it happens is what I'm saying. So as you can see, they are very, very similar product. Um, and as soon as they posted it online, there were people who went, Ein Minuten, one minute. 
don't think of anything. I just know that sentence. Um, and it's because of Eddie Izzard. Um, so, yeah, they were like, one minute, and they look the same. And they messaged, and people message them as so, from what I can gather. Um, I will just quickly touch on as well. These are eight 50 euros, which I worked out to around about £7.50, give or take. And just to be fair to Night Models, I'm going to do the opposite conversion. So you guys can see here. So £2.50 in Great British People's Monies against the Euro is £2.83. So I rounded up. I'm that kind of guy. Um, so you can see you get two in here and you get a couple of little tokens. Fair play. But the price difference is quite substantial, especially as from what I can see, the postage is a little bit more from Night Models as well. But then again, it is coming from Europe. So maybe if you're in Europe, it would be less for those and more for the Red Beam design ones. So I'm just going to get rid of some of these. Get rid of that. Get rid of the YouTube, -y, which brings us to this. So, yeah, in terms of it financially, I would say the Red Beam design ones. The only thing the Night Models ones have over is the little Night Models logo. Otherwise, value for money, obviously, the Red Beam Design ones are a much better fit. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take a look at this statement, um, which was a reply to somebody who messaged them. And I'm not going to name any names or anything like that. It was posted on um, a Facebook group for the Batman miniature game. Um, and, you know, you can look on all the minute, the Batman sites at the minute, except maybe uh, the Arkham one, which is their official one, because that is ruled by idiots. And we'll go into that a little bit later as well. But we're going to cover this now. So, yeah, um, Night Models. This is them replying. Please give us the name of the person at Warner Consumer Products that has authorized you to make products based in our games, Batman Miniatures Game and DC Universe Miniatures Game, and DC comic book characters, as we do, uh, so as we have not given you any authorization to do so. Should you fail to give us this information, we will understand that you do not have any authorization to sell products based in the DC comic characters, which is illegal as it's infringement of the intellectual property rights. If you do not immediately erase all the products you're selling at the website that infringe this intellectual property, be forced to report you to Warner Consumer Products who will take legal action as they will deem appropriate. So... What Night Models are basically saying to Red Beam Designs, you know, this small start-out company, I think they've been going about a year, they make tokens for all these different games, and let's face it, they make a lot of tokens for Games Workshop-based products, and we all know how Games Workshop have been in recent years, and Games Workshop aren't swinging that old cease and desist hammer, um... You know, Games Workshop aren't coming along saying, oh, no, you can't make... Because Games Workshop have tried this before with other companies, haven't they? And sometimes they're very successful, sometimes they're not. But most companies who have things on their website, like this is this will work for or in association with, um, tend to not be able to do anything about it unless they've got, like, bigger quillers posted all over them and things like that, you know... The way Night Mod, uh, sorry, the way Red Beam have worded their stuff, other than those titles, which, as I said, I would change them as quickly as I possibly could, um, just to all that, um, they're not doing anything wrong. They do have one token, which happens to look a little bit like a bat symbol, um, much as they have a question mark and they have ha ha has. But my God, if Night Models can, you know, or DC have trademarked ha ha. Or the question mark, then I am screwed because I laugh all the time and I put question marks on things. Usually if I'm asking a question via text or something like that, I'll usually finish it with a question mark. Never has Night Models ever really pulled me on it when I've been speaking to them directly. So I'm guessing they're talking a load of crap. Um, the way it comes across for me, and as I said, this is my point of view. I have spoken to other members of the community and they obviously feel very similarly. But again, I can only speak for myself. This feels like Night Models have come out with a product. People have gone, one second, your product looks like a product these guys have already designed. And they've gone, ah, quick note on the offensive. Hide behind, you know, Popper DC, right behind Warner Brothers back, leaning over, waving that fist. Get rid of our products. Well, we're going to have a look. And I shouldn't have closed it, really. Um, we don't need the rest of that, though, so... 
Oh good, Red Beam did come up. I thought it was going to come up with some of the disturbing sights I look at. Like, like Red Beam designs, so I'm going to dismiss this. Game specific. Let's have a look at some of the tokens. Because this is something I've noticed on the forums and on Facebook and things like that. People have been saying. So, um, sort this by Lord High, just because I'm finickety like that. So we'll have a look at them. This doesn't load. This is my internet. I do apologize for that. This is what you get for having a terrible internet service provider. That is a lightning bolt. Now, yes, I'm a fan of the flash. Of the flash. I know that this is a lightning bolt similar to the one used in flash designs. But it's not. It doesn't say the flash on it. It's just a lightning bolt. If you wanted to argue semantics of that, then obviously anything that produces any sort of Greek symbols or anything like that with lightning bolts on and stuff and Warner Brothers could claim they own which they don't because they don't that's a lightning bolt yes I could see the similarities to Flash logo but it's very different just I'm going to pop it up again because this is important um, that's an arrow that's the flash symbol. You see how those are different? Um, I mean, if we were to go... Bear with me. Saban might have a better claim. If we flip this the other way around. I'm just saying. Red beam. Saban might be after you. But no, it's ridiculous. That's clearly just a lightning bolt. Yes, it is meant to represent something, but that's no different from any of the million other sites out there that make tokens for the games. And then these generics, ammo tokens, again, I would probably just drop the BMG bit, Titan token, or just put it toxin token, ammo token, chemical tokens, because I do use these ammo tokens, and we use them for other games and stuff, so... Nina, 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 it's fine. Um... <laughs> You know, contraband tokens. Again, if you drop the BMG, you know, you're sitting pretty. They can't touch you. However, there is one that's somewhat in debate, so let's find it out. See, this is why I shouldn't put things in alphabetical. Again, the measurements. Games Workshop have tried in the past. You can't um, copyright a template, like the shape of it, because um, essentially Games Workshops were teardrops or circles of three and five inches you can't really get around that and they must know that so i mean from the way it looks and this is the one that people are using as the example so i'm just gonna have a look at these so you've got mr wonderful hat which is just a top hat you've got a snowflake which is just a snowflake a smiley face which is obviously watchman um, and that's just a generic smiley face question mark these are all fine pumpkins Owl head, even. It's just a generic thing. Detective Shield, well, DC aren't really getting sued by the police and vice versa. A leaf. The hat. See, it isn't even a hat hat. Um, I thought it was. Maybe they used to do one. Ah, oh, no, I think I've got a counterattack base. This one there was. A demon head. A black skull. A top hat. We're going to skip over the next one because this is the bone of contention. Yes, I guess that one, it does look like the Bane's mask, but you could also, if it didn't say Baneful on it, you could say it was an angel. Um, you could just say it was eyes and a nose. Um, you could say it was an elaborately drawn penis. Um, I know that was just for Alan's benefit. Sorry, guys. Um, an arrow. Again, snowflake. A spider. A lightning bolt. The Suicide Squad symbol, I guess, is the symbol from the movie. So that one, potentially. But this is the main bone of contention. This is a bat. And yes, I will completely say it outright. It does have a similarity to the Batman logo. <coughs> Specifically, just says bat here. Um, you come down, set of 25 action tokens, designed compatible for... With... A popular superhero game to help you plan your actions. Very cleverly worded here. A set of 25 action tokens, which is how many you get, that has been designed to be compatible with a popular superhero game. 
right down to the bottom, still here. This is not an official product for the Batman miniature game. So it does mention the Batman down there. But that, again, is just to cover their own backs. So that is a bat symbol. Yes. Is it the Batman symbol? Well, yes and no. So... If we kind of pop up, I think this was what I used last time. And this won't have every Batman symbol on anyway, but it, it will have a number of them. Uh, bah, 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 bah. I said I did plan this out earlier, and then yeah, life finds a way. Yeah, so I can't get any bigger than that. It sucks to be me. So you've got your 1940s Batman, you've got your 1965. I could, I could zoom my whole thing in. See what I'll do for you guys. So I guess you could argue that one, that one, one. They do have a similar sim sim similarity. See, I do know big words. So you could argue the point that yes, that is potentially a Batman symbol. I will completely concede that. Would that stand up in a court of law? From what I showed you to what's there. I don't personally think it would. I'm not specifically a lawyer. I'm definitely not a comic book lawyer or one who deals in um, trademarks on iconography or anything like that. I've never tried to apply for one, so I couldn't say for definite. But, uh, where was it? It was back candy, I think. Oh, bosh. Maybe it was, maybe it wasn't. And this isn't something I looked for, somebody else had pointed out, but there's been a number of American candy companies um, or sweet companies for us that use bat-based symbols. You see that kind of thing, or that is very similar to the the one that Red Beam are actually using. So you see this bat symbol, which is clearly not a Batman symbol, although I can see how you could argue that point, does show up in a lot of other things where people are making money from it. Um... And that's something that is allowed. Yes, I'm sure they do have a trademark on the bat symbol of certain shapes. <coughs> so maybe you could argue with that particular one, Red Beam maybe have to move that. Um, again, I don't work for Red Beam. I don't really have any advantage to saying that I think this is cool. I don't have any law degree or anything that would back it up. In terms of the story itself, which is mainly what I wanted to cover and report, it's night models throwing their weight around again um, because they've been caught out doing some shady crap or shady practices um, with regards to the Marvel license that they had, um, which they kept telling people, we're still doing the Marvel stuff, we're still doing the Marvel stuff, we're still doing the Marvel stuff. Then they went radio silent on it. Look, this is our anniversary of Batman this year. There's going to be loads of Batman, loads of Batman. And people are going, what about Marvel? And they just weren't saying anything. And then suddenly, boom. Here's an announcement. We've dropped, you know, we no longer have the license or we've dropped the license. You know, I didn't cover it back then because our channel wasn't even around. Um, it was just kind of being... Oddly, Marvel Universe miniature game and the Batman miniature game were the two miniatures games that we were going to do. Originally, that was what our channel was going to cover. Those two and The Walking Dead All Out War. Rumble Slam was an afterthought after all the stuff happened with the Marvel Universe miniature game. And I had some dealings with some Night Models employees via email with regard to getting some replacement parts and things like that. And they, it was not a very pleasant experience. So yes, when you look um, at this to you know, try and rein my tangent back in somewhat. I can, to an extent, I can see exactly with this one token, maybe they'd have a case, maybe they wouldn't, and for cautionary sake, if I was Night Models, <coughs> sorry, if I was Red Beam Designer, I do apologize, I'm really ill, I'm trying not to cough. Um, if I was Red Beam Designs, I'd maybe take this one symbol down, maybe rework it so it just looks more like a generic bat. Um, because that can be argued, yes, that's a bat symbol. You know, I just said, and I completely concede that. Look at that. It's... Again, I don't, I could see the argument, and I'm not smart enough in corporate-based law to tell you whether 
they have a claim or not. But on the safe side, I would partic- I would probably remove that bat symbol and create a new one um, that just looked more like a generic bat or, you know, just remove it all together because their products are so good and they've got so many varied products that I don't think that one would be necessary. Now, the other thing was the DC miniature game and they do have this down here. Uh, they link it together with the Marvel ones. So it's the Superhero Universe miniature game. So we're going to have a look at that now. So here it is again, superhero accessories, because scenery is just generic scenery, unless, you know, a property development company wants to point out that theirs looks very similar. Um, Because that's kind of seemingly the idiocy we're going for these days. So generic knockdown, generic power dials, paint grippers, structure dials, you know, they're generic deployment markers, Defensive tones, even your defensive tokens and conditions and things like that, they're just generic. Energy, physical, mental. Well, that's just a two plus with a shape. You know, good luck copywriting that. Um, again, I, I speak from a place of I'm not a big fan of night models now. Um, so it's not like I'm coming at this completely impartially, but I'm not trying to be. This isn't like a Gamergate situation where I'm trying to claim the moral high ground. This was another bone of contention, actually. Somebody said, oh, well, they've copyright, you know, they, they've used the shape. No, they've used a teardrop shape of the same size as theirs. Had it had the bit that goes up the middle, that plugs in, you know, anybody who's played it with a proper official Night Models one will tell you that they're useless and as soon as you pick it up, it falls out without you gluing it, which means it's then hard to store. That's a generic shape. And yes, that's a Night Models model. It's a rocket raccoon. But as Night Models know from the cease and desist order that they were slapped with from Marvel, they're not allowed to show those either. So, um, yeah suck it i guess no that was you know that was unprofessional not that i'm a professional channel clearly anyone who knows me knows i'm like a giant toddler um but yeah so these don't have a lot of these type of things um they don't have any specific symbols like i don't know if you noticed there you didn't see any superman symbols any Justice League, JLs. They don't even have all the Marvel symbols. Let's say, came in war gaming. Blah, 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 very very quickly. Um, do I even have them on here? Seemingly I don't. Never mind. Watch this. I can type counterattack bases because I use these quite a lot. Um, and this is something maybe to bear in mind. You'll see here when you go to their homepage. You'll look straight down, Superhero Miniatures Game. So you click on that, and it brings you to Skirmish or Smash. Smash being the bigger one, Skirmish being the smaller one. So we'll look at this. Do you notice these are not getting cease and desist orders or threatened? And they're not doing that because they didn't create a product that um, Night Models are now stealing. Um, But these do happen to do... And again, I've got a load of these tokens, and I love these tokens. So, like, I don't want this to then turn into a witch hunt against counterattack bases either. But look, that's clearly an Avengers symbol. You could argue that's an X-Men, and you could argue that's the symbol used in Guardians of the Galaxy that's actually for the Nova Corps. Um, but again, very generic. Um, counterattack bases, superhero miniatures game. Ba ba ba. It's a dial to track characters. Please note that the magnets are now glued. Now, these don't even have a little thing, like a little notification, like um, Red Beam do, which is that, you know, these are to be used within this game, but they are not affiliated with in any way. And that's, I'm assuming, because counterattack bases, you know, know or assume they don't need them. So this is important. We'll go here and we'll look at the faction dice very quickly. The first thing you'll notice, there's a bat there. Eerily similar in design to the bat from the um, Red Beam design one, to be honest. They're very, very similar. And these have now done these. I don't know when these came about. These weren't on here last time I saw, but these are awesome. If I was still playing the game, I'd be all over this. I most certainly would. Put your little card there, your bits there, your bits there. Beautiful. Can't go wrong with that. That's really, really cool. But my point is, they're doing a very similar thing. But you see how that's a different design? Um, in fact, 
This is the skirmish one, so that's for Batman version. I oh, know it says here second edition. In fact, this is a perfect example then, because this is second edition. Goes that way, you put it in, let's look at that. See how this is the exact same type of product as red beams, but looks completely different. MCAC, different shape. There's no way you could hold those two up against each other and say one of them copied off the other. They may have seen the other's design and thought, that's a great idea, we'll make our own version. And if Night Models had done that, they wouldn't really, you know, Red Beam wouldn't have a leg to stand on. you just have to just accept it and be like, yes, that's that's a thing. Um, but theirs is different. And that's really what I'm trying to say. And it's what sort of I've been trying to say with regards to this. Let me just tidy up. I don't need that picture now. That works for me. Um, and as I said, if you want to go online to any of the Facebook groups for the Batman Miniatures game, certainly do so you know i most of them are really really good not toxic um where you can have a frank discussion and maybe people will disagree with you um and maybe you'll get a bit heated but you'll be able to have a frank and honest discussion for me personally night models official one which i think is called arkham asylum or something like that or it used to be um or something asylum cheese asylum Anyway, I don't want to give them time even debating them. Um, I find that theirs to be very toxic, and I did leave that. It wasn't. I didn't get in a lot of fights. I've got friends on there who do. Um, I kind of like to sit back with my popcorn and just kind of relish in the destruction. So, but anyway, this video um, is obviously only my point of view. Um, what I do want to do, and the main point of the video, is to lend my meager support with... You know, our 378 followers, which again is not a lot, but I appreciate every one of you guys because you take the time to watch our videos, like and leave comments. So you guys are all fantastic in my book, but everyone who watches this video will take away something from it, which is either Kev hates nine models, um, Kev talks a load of crap, Red Beam Designs are getting screwed over royally here, um, so for me, what I'm asking people to do, because I know I do go on tangents and I rant and I flail my arms wildly behind the cameras and occasionally you'll hear like a lamp get slapped or something like that. But what I'm really saying here is if you've got a YouTube channel yourself, guys like Blackjack Legacy, um, Green Stuff Games, um, you guys I know specifically have mentioned Red Beam before, you've got good ties with them or at least some ties with them you know make a video and support of this um get the message out to as many people as possible because night models do this kind of thing all the time not this specific thing but they have no regard for their fans they've got this kind of doubling down mentality of i'm in the wrong but i'm in the right because i'm night models your game is fantastic just let me say that both of your games, in fact, are fantastic. I loved a Marvel Universe Miniatures game. It's the same rule set in DC Universe Miniature game. It's made by Mark Latham. And Mark Latham is one of my favourite games designers. Um, certainly more new school. He helped with Legends of the Old West with Games Workshop. He does all, a lot of sort of history-based war, war gaming. He did The Walking Dead All Out War. He's helped with the translation, I believe, and maybe done some of the rules from Batman Miniatures Game 2.0. Um, but my point is, I love your game system, but the way that you behave as a company to your fans, to other people, right? What do you think is happening when people go onto Red Beam Designs and they're buying tokens and they're buying these dashboards? Do you think they're just buying them on the... They're buying them for the game that you create, you artards. I apologise for saying artards, but use your brains. You're not Games Workshop. You don't have an infinite amount of money that you can just, you know, throw up in the air. If you did, maybe you'd still have the Marvel licence, except we all know that's not the reason you lost the Marvel licence, and that's something that I'm not going to go into because I don't know if the information I've been given is 100% accurate. Um, and of course, if you follow online, there's loads of speculation. So it's not something we can go into because unless either of those two companies give us an official statement, we'll never really know what happened. But the point is, 
like maybe you should treat your customers better maybe you should treat the people who are making add-ons to your games maybe you should work with them maybe change your bloody design of something or give them credit you know you stole their design or it's a bloody good coincidence you know it's because the two side by side, if they didn't have a Knight Models one, you're like, which is the red beam design one? And you'd probably be hard pressed to pick one. Um, and then who do you think they're going to buy as well? <coughs> oh, sorry, sorry. Um, if I'm in the UK, which I am, hi, by the way, um, and I'm looking online and I'm like, I need six or eight of these dashboardy things because I play with a you know, cheap crew, lots of models loads of prisons prisoners or something like that am i gonna drop like seven pound fifty for two of them um and then obviously if i need it i'm gonna have to add those together and then pay the shipping from europe to here or am i gonna go with red beam designs who a every time i've had to or not had to but i've chose to speak to them have been nothing but lovely they've helped us promote videos when we've mentioned their products in them um, and that's not just me, the community of people who play Batman. Like, where, I didn't learn Red Beam Designs from being online. I got told about Red Beam Designs from another friend who played Batman miniature game. The word of mouth for Red Beam and counter-attack bases and small companies such as that is brilliant because their customer service is brilliant, and it is brilliant because it has to be brilliant. Because if I got the customer service from Red Beam that I've got every single time I've had to speak to Night Models about replacement parts or you know asking basic questions like i contacted them about the the watchman why the watchman stuff disappeared off their site um and they got back to me about 11 days later or something ridiculous like that and when they did get back they got back to me and the answer was fine which was that it, it was a licensing issue um between dc and such um, nothing to do with night models in the slightest um but that's why they had to take the product down and that's cool you can't argue with that it's nothing to do with them um it's obviously between authors and creative designers and comic book artists and you know the ins and outs without going into it just google watchman dc issues and you'll be able to find a hundred billion videos on it um pretty decent watch actually so do it um but yeah so i'm rambling i'm ranting i'm giving a lot of praise to a company that i think deserves a lot of praise in red beam designs and i'm giving a lot of shade to a company who i've never had anything but problems with your game is fantastic but other than that you're a bunch of money grabbing a-holes who don't listen to your fans they don't reply to fans when they message you unless it's praise um and you shut down and you block anyone who has differing opinions on you. I remember the day that Marvel license dropped your Facebook page. And the ban hammer, as it's known by the nerds, yeah, me included, was strong that day. Um, and that's not how you take criticism. You, like, when people, you read through the comments we get. Any of them that are negative, we still post them. We'll reply to them. Like, we try and reply to every comment we get. If it's something that doesn't need one, like, your channel is good, we'll still try and give a thanks, or we'll give a little like and a heart. Um, but we listen to the people who watch our channel, because there's only a few of yous, and we appreciate you. Like Red Beam Designs appreciates every one of their customers. Like Nine Models, that isn't the size of Games Workshop, it isn't the size of Weird Miniatures, it isn't the size of Privateer Press. You don't have enough customer base that you can throw shade on us that you can treat us like crap that you can take like send threatening letters to people because you stole their idea um so i'm gonna end it here because as you can tell i'm getting quite annoyed by this um and it is something that bothers me because i want to love it i've been talking as i said with like their um tales of skirmish is that it uh, tales of skirmish gaming on Facebook, good friend uh, Ian, been chatting a bit about how much I love some of the new models, and I really wanted to get back into Batman miniature game and DC Universe, and just as I was about to sort of pull the plug after Christmas on that, Night Models have gone and done this, and they can suck it now. And I know they're not going to lose any sleep over losing my money. What, I was going to buy the Crime Syndicate, Owl, um, a few others, um... 
that kind of thing. I wasn't really going to splurge loads and loads. I've already got my Riddler. I was possibly going to get the Two-Face crew. So I had a Batman crew or two Batman crews, one for me, one for Alan. And I was going to do the same with DC Universe and maybe start covering them on the channel now. And yes, like I said, they're not going to care that they've lost my money. <coughs> but if I do this video and of those 378 people who watch us, if five of them completely agree with what I'm saying and they do the same, that's six people. And then maybe Blackjack Legacy do a video because they're cool guys who are big fans of Red Beam and his thousand plus fans of them, you know, 20 of them also decide to boycott Night Models. You soon start to notice an effect and maybe then Night Models will do something, but Guys, if you've got a YouTube channel and you like Red Beam Designs, support them. Make a video, not necessarily dissing um, Night Models. You know, that's your preference. But big up their products. Show off what they do. Let people see that, you know, this is a company we want to see grow. We don't want to see disappear because some jackass companies hiding behind Warner Brothers and going, we're going to sue you. And if I did go to Warner Brothers, I don't think Warner Brothers could be bothered to sue Red Beam for the amount that Red Beam probably make a year. Um, or this year, because this is their first year. Um, so yeah, guys, thanks very much for watching. Um, I know it's been rambling. I know it's been a bit here and a bit there. And every view expressed is my personal view. Um, I've been very specific to leave people's names out of Facebook. Um, other than obviously I dropped Ian's name because we were chatting about the game. That was in no way me giving his opinion on the game. He clearly likes it. He's currently showing off all his magic stuff. If you are on Facebook and you're not already following him, I will pop a link in the description below. Um, go and follow their stuff. It's really good. Um, they cover Necromunda, they cover a load of other stuff. If you've never been to Red Beam Designs before, get on there. If you play Age of Sigma, 40k, Necromunda, there's probably going to be something on there that suits you. If you're looking for MDF scenery, especially you Necromunda guys, our spike in views, our spike in subscribers has gone up since we started doing Necromunda. Like, almost doubled, if I'm honest. So the percentage of you guys watching my videos or our videos, sorry, Alan, and my dad, who still occasionally pops in on one and, you know, the odd people like Sparks and things from, you know, some guys in a filthy mage. He's a filthy mage, by the way. But yeah, like, yeah, like, check the link below, show your support. Um, we're just a small community, but if we all stand together, we're, we're pretty cool. Um, or potentially pretty cool. But yeah, I ramble, I babble. As always, break the dice cards, hope they smile upon you, and don't dislike this video too much. Take care, guys.